What's up guys, welcome to another episode of best Android apps for this month and if you have not been through my previous episode, the link to it is in the description. So without any further delay, let's begin the countdown. Number one is the focal. So this is the camera application from the Xenogen Mod team and this app is still in the beta phase but this camera works great and uh, the UI is very neat and clean and we have a lot of touch based controls as you can see here a lot of settings I will come back to it in a moment you can touch to focus and uh, here you have the shooting button and if you make a swipe from here you can go on to the video mode you can go on to the photosphere mode that is the 3D kind of panorama you can rotate your camera the normal panorama and you can uh, view the photo that you have taken from this camera so very easy to uh, switch to different modes so cool interface again from the bottom if you make a swipe up you can uh, do the settings for your flash white balance effects so you have a lot of effects here like uh, sketch neon aqua and so on so let me show you this sketch thing one sec okay so there you see guys this uh, sketch kind of effect all right and uh, going back to the normal mode you also can do your setup for your exposure color adjust ISO burst mode so you have additional setup for your burst mode so that is really good timer and additional settings a very easy to use camera application with a very cool UI and a lot of touch based controls making it easier to use with a single hand so that is really good and uh, and the main advantage is this is from the Shinizen Mod team so this will definitely get an update so a lot of cool features will be added so that's my number one number two is the edge so this is the edge and uh, this helps you to multitask this is not a full sidebar but a unique tab that you get on your screen if you make a swipe from the left so here you can access your toggles quick toggles you can enable your data connection Wi-Fi Bluetooth and the silent mode you have all your recent applications here and you can play your song go to the next track access your app drawer and uh, go to your home page since I'm already on my home page okay okay there you go and this is the favorite applications tab so right now I have not done the setup for my favorite applications so let's go ahead and do it so let's launch the edge and uh, from here you can do the customization for the sidebar you can enable so recent apps the number of applications so favorite apps so here you can customize your favorite applications say for example the camera the calculator the applications that you use the most you can add it to your favorite applications tab and hit done now let's go ahead and uh, go on to the favorite applications and there you see guys we have all the applications here so easy to use and easy to multitask again going back to the application you have active edge settings so activation side is the left side right now from here you can change it if you want to and uh, you need the pro version to do so you have the edge sensitivity edge position and height so this is the position from where you need to make a swipe you can uh, change the position if you want to so that is really good and here you have some general settings about the background the highlight color and so on so a very handy application to multitask so that's my number two the next one here is the DU battery saver and widgets so basically this is a battery saver application with a lot of cool features and a very easy to use battery saver so here you have a lot of options here you can see the time left you also can optimize your battery for better battery performance so here it's uh, being optimized all right and hit optimize now and there you go so here are some issues you know uh, set screen brightness to auto to save more power right now I'm shooting the video so I cannot do that so uh, you get a lot of tips as well to improve your battery life going back and uh, here's your battery uses you also have your time here so that is really good to track and uh, here you have your battery temperature voltage and the technology so going on to the saver here you have different modes you can create your own mode like the sleep mode uh, sorry outdoors indoors and so on so here if you enable the sleep mode you will have your screen brightness to 10 percent screen timeout to 15 seconds you have Wi-Fi off, Bluetooth off, mobile data off and so on so you can do 
all kind of uh, mode settings you also can create your own mode and uh, you have the smart mode as well so with the smart mode uh, this app will automatically maintain your battery life preserve your battery life but you need to upgrade to the pro version if you want to use the smart mode going on to the toolbox you have a lot of third-party applications you need to download them like uh, the du flashlight browser du speed booster and so on moving on to charge here you have the battery percentage and the time left and some healthy charging tips so you can read the tips and maintain a healthy charging system for your mobile device so that will increase the battery life of your device and here's the monitor you can monitor the applications that consumes a battery and here's the hardware and the applications so you can track down the application what is consuming more battery and you can stop that application so that is very handy a very cool and easy to use battery saver and it's working really good I've been using this from a week now and it's really really good so that's my number three the next one here is the Google Helpouts so Google Helpouts is a new way to get and give personalized help over live video and basically with this application you can help as well as get help from peoples so here you have a lot of different fields uh, so depending upon uh, your need you can uh, go and get help from these categories say for example if you need any help in the computer and electronics department go to that section and here you can see a lot of people posting uh, their help or their article like uh, computer issue help computer troubleshooting Apple product support networking system operator and so on say for example if you want to go ahead and uh, get help in this section just tap onto this and you can go ahead and send him a message and again we also get some video tutorials like say for example the computer issue and help so you can start the help out so that uh, you can get the you can uh, ask this guy the necessary questions or your questions that you have not only in the computer field you also can do that with the art and music learn to play guitar and so on you have a lot of different other fields as well like cooking education and careers fitness health and so on the next one here is the one more clock widget so with this clock widget you get a lot of cool widgets so let me just quickly show it to you let's add a widgets for this one more clock okay so here it is so placing it onto the home screen so by default you'll get this and uh, you need to customize your widget so from the widget theme you get a lot of cool widgets uh, as in a lot of cool clock styles with uh, battery percentage and the weather condition from here you can choose your preferred theme so here you have a lot of themes so depending upon the launcher you use or the wallpaper that you have you can place a well suited uh, widget for your home screen so this will definitely make your device look a lot more elegant so right now as you can see here if you tap onto the widget you also can customize it you can personalize the clock and tap and display options that means if you tap the widget you can perform these actions you can uh, use the 24 hour clock uh, so leading zero and stuff you can do your setup for your weather calendar and so on so a very cool widget looks very good very stylish and you have a lot of themes to choose from the next one here is the Beidou browser so this is one of the best browser of recent times I've been using this browser from a week now and I'm simply loving it very light very minimal and very fast so this is the home screen you can add your favorite websites the top websites that you use the most you can give in your Facebook account, social media and stuff. If you go on to the right, you have additional websites, the popular websites for social media, videos, games, music and so on. And on the left you have your history. So whenever you search for something, say for example, uh, if you want to search it on Google, you can do so. And if you want to change the search engine, you can just tap onto it and choose your search engine. So that is a really cool feature to have. So you are reading something here and if you want to go back to the previous page you can make a swipe from here and again if you want to go back to the previous page do a swipe from this side so very good you know gesture based controls onto the browser so that is really cool 
and you get a lot of options over here at the bottom so this is for the open tabs you also can create a new tab and you have a lot of options over here you can do your bookmarks you can save your bookmarks you can add it to the read later functionality so that you can read it later you can go to the full screen mode you can check your downloads refresh and this is the night mode for night the brightness will be really low you also have tools from where you can do the rotation scroll button text only QR code scanner screenshot and others uh, here you have the basic setup for your browser like the font size and stuff so a very cool browser and very easy to use and with this browser you also get this floating kind of thing on your home screen if you tap onto this you can access your social medias YouTube you can launch the QR scanner code and you can search for anything on the website on the uh, internet so that is very handy and a very cool feature to have